Pisces, the song that's playing for you is said and done. So you could be in a situation and it's like something's now over for you. Something has ended, whether it's a chapter or it's a relationship, friendship, or just your mind or perspective or how you might have thought and expressed yourself in your reality in a certain type of way, shape, or form. There's no love in the space, whether that's for you or you may be aware that there's no love in the space based upon how someone could have expressed themselves towards you or how you expressed yourself towards something or someone. You put your foot in the shoe that fits you. And that so you could be heartbroken. But it's like because there may be no love in the space where you still had love. But it's like the truth that you may have been be, had you may have become aware of because of how someone expressed themselves towards you or because how someone is expressing themselves towards you. If you in a relationship, it's like you could still be with your partner, but there's no love in the space with your partner. And that may be hurting you because you're aware of that truth. And you're only aware of that truth because of how your partner is expressing themselves towards you. Or, or you, you may be in a friendship, but you know this ain't really a real friend because of how they bring their mind to you, the ideas they try to get you to invest in how they you feel me it's like you and it, and you may still actually have love for that friend though so it's like the truth hurts right now in whatever context we talking about scorpio feminine yeah death scorpio you could be dealing with a scorpio or you just experience a tra uh, transformation a transformation in your life right now but it's it may be your karma for someone to uh, Either emotionally walk away from the space they share with you if you're dealing with somebody outside of you because the first one is the will. The second one is the eight of cups. And then eight of cups is death, transformation, Scorpio. So you could be in that type of... And then the eight of wands. Now listen, this this eight, eight, and then Scorpio just hollered and then your song is playing for you. It's said and done. And then it's... Listen, you put your foot. Ace of wands behind that is in reverse. So whether... If it's you, you probably... It's like your karma for having a certain type of vision or imagination or mind that you gave a lot of fire to. You could have had all your energy going to the wrong place regarding how you thought or how you expressed and or carried yourself in a certain type of environment. Now, your karma is to leave that environment or to no longer be able to feel here. Whatever. When it's all said and done, who you going to ride for? Now, you could be in a position where you lost your riders or you lost the people that would ride for you or you could be someone's rider. And see, I would say it's like the, the band then fell apart and they, I, the band might not get back together after this type shit. You feel me? The band then broke up. Ain't no cars out though, so it's still up in the air. Until next time, stay in savage mode. Down below. Ah, down below is the first song that's playing for you, Pisces. The first card to come out is the Five of Cups. You in your bag and we ain't talking about the money bag. Me, Pisces, you might be in your feelings. Not even might be in your feelings. You down below is you and your emotions about some shit there, Pisces. You might have done fell from a situation. You, know, you could be the one. I told you, your karma, you might be heartbroken about some shit. And you know what you got going on. You you crying over spilled milk, Pisces. In whatever situation, relationship, or friendship you're talking about, wherever your mind is at, you holding on to emotions that yeah, there's no more life can be de no life can be derived out of that emotional expression, out of that idea. You could be still trying to express yourself in a certain type of emotional energy, or you just want to continue to be somewhere that you can't be no more. You feel me? You get it? You got it. Damn, look, and that might be because of a direction you took. Yo, you, the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands ain't out here no more because I had a pre-shuffle, Pisces. 
But Page of Wands then came out. So if it's you versus you, you took your vision in the direction, or you could still be taking your vision in the direction. It's like you beating it. I said this for Sagittarius, you beating a dead horse, Pisces. You know what? You know if you, because you still holding on to some sort of emotion about something, someone, or somewhere. You still in a certain type of feeling. You can't get out. You down. Look, you down bad in a feeling. It looked like a motherfucker down bad to me, don't it? You feel me? So you in a certain type of emo emotional place about something you did because it's the page following that something a vision you had that might not have it's like you could have invested in a certain type of expression or you put all your passion all your water all your emotions all your mind your matter into a certain type of vision because you saw something whole time that division that division you might have ended up dividing people more than bringing people together. You might have been experiencing some sort of division in your friendships, in your relationships, regarding how you feel when you used to. It's like you could have did something that tainted all your other emotional categories in life. You could, you were doing this with your friends. It had nothing to do with your hobby over here, but what you did here bled onto that. Now there's a disconnect from you and that hobby, you and that passion. Now when you think about that, the life is sucked out of that. You don't see a good tomorrow out of that. You don't see a good direction coming out of that choice. You feel me? It's like your mind is in a gutter right now. And that's because you're still holding on to something that's gone, dead and gone. It's said and done was the first song that was playing for you. It's like something's already over, but to you, it's not over. You know what that means for you. Ooh. Ooh, oh, that's too much, Pisces. That's too much. That's too much, Pisces. And see, but then when it's, but then when one came out, it was the three of coins in reverse. Someone that's playing for you is down below. And last, I said your mind is in the gutter. You got the, the three cups. You still pondering on those three. You still trying to bring life out of something. You still trying to manifest something. You beating a dead horse, Pisces. Whatever horse we talking about, whether it's a relationship, it's a friendship, it's a career path you decided to take that you be going through some sort of experience regarding this career path. You might have been at the top at one point regarding this, but you failed. You had your high. And because of the way you failed, you're not going to have that high here again. You got to move on from this, but you're still holding on to it. And then not only that, but the type of ideas you're trying to bring to this, to bring life back to this, it ain't going to bring shit back nowhere. You know what that means for you, Pisces. Come on, we're not doing that, Pisces. No, 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 that's too much. You dropped the whole deck. That's too much in there. We're not, we not doing that. That shit came out in the same space. In the same space, Pisces. What's going on? It's your son. If it's you versus someone outside of you, you could be in a, if you're in a relationship, it's like, hey, let's say you're still sharing a space with your partner. You could be often is the song that's playing. It's something you participated in very consistently. You feel me? Uh, something you exchanged emotions with. Something you gave energy to on a frequent basis. Whatever it was, you did it often. And whatever you did, it's like it's your karma for someone outside. It's for you to be in a place of loss regarding this and wanting to bring it back. And it's someone outside of you's karma to be in the space with you. So if you're in a relationship, it's like your relationship there is dead. There's no life in your relationship. Your partner, when they express their mind or when they bring you any type of idea about this relationship or when they just express themselves in this relationship, they don't bring healing fire. They don't bring fire to try to build upon this relationship. They, they just make it worse when they invest in that. And it's your karma to be in a position to want to, it's like to want to try to keep work making this work. You feel me? 
you know what that means for you Pisces if I'm talking to you. And you know if you're in a situation and you're trying to make something work, you're trying to get this relationship back even though it's already done. You trying to, yo, you and your partner, and y'all miserable together, but for some reason, you're still trying to bring a life, you're still trying to bring life out of that, and the only, and the type of action you doing is, is only killing it even more. But yeah, you're still doing it on a consistent basis. You're still trying. If it's a solo battle, then it's you, it's your karma to be in a position where you you crying over something. You crying over some sort of investment that fell through. And not only that, but it's like you trying to figure out how to bring it back. You trying to figure out how to bounce back from this, but there is no bounce back from this. Now you know what that means for you. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, someone outside of you, huh, if you lost a position like a manager position or it was some sort of opportunity that you were presented with, and you, the way you stepped in that experience, the way you walked through that door is what made you be put in the position you are in now where you're mourning over the investments or how you expressed yourself or how what you lost. You're mourning over a loss, whether that's of an emotional investment, like you had you a little position, you got demoted from manager to, to regular employee and someone else around you got a promotion in some way, shape or form. And it's like you're, you're watching that, you're observing that position, you're observing that space, whatever we talking about. You know better than I know what we talking about. It's, it's almost like you watching someone sit in the seat you were once in. I was gonna say your seat. Yeah, all because of a decision, uh, expression you made. That made you fall. So it's like you could have had a manager position at work. You expressed yourself to your boss or you just expressed yourself in that position in a certain type of way. It's not so much abusing your power, but it's almost like you got comfortable with your position. And that is what cost you it. And now you watching another co-worker get promoted to the seat you were in. You feel me? It's like that type shit. And, and you still not over it. You still want that position back because the pay was nice. You feel me? It had you in a certain type of experience. It had you in a certain type of expression. But it also had you in a position where you might have been looking down on all the other co-workers that because you were in a more higher status type shit. You feel me? Now, you know if that's for you or not, Pisces. Whatever you had, you lost it and you ain't over it. Whatever it is. Yeah, but that, that's a, that's the you know. woo. If it's if it's your know, uh, back to the manager example, it's like that I four nine is the song that's playing for you. Now Pisces, what we've been talking about? If you had a position, you had it and you lost it because of the direction you took your vision with it, where you took your mind with it, where and it's that's your karma, the wheel of fortune out here, and it's in the middle. All because of the direct look, you fell. You was up at one point in life. You was up in this situation. You had this position. You got the promotion. When you got the promotion, it's like he was flexing dumb crazy. Lost it just as fast as you got it. You know that that was just saying, you know that's for you or not, but yeah, look, you you done been burnt too. You hurt by some shit. Cause it's like you watching, yo, it could have been a coworker you was cool with too, right? They, and they was, the way they was talking about the position, they, didn't, they was like, I don't care about that position, Pisces. I don't care about that raise, that promotion, knowing damn well. When they got in that shit, they, they ain't got no good ideas about you no more now that they in this position about it. It's like, if you lost it, now the, now yo, the coworker you was all buddy buddy with ain't, ain't even paying no mind no more. You feel me? It's like that type. You been, you could have been there. Uh, someone could have played you if it's that type of vibe. But that's your karma because it's like where your mind was, where your expression was. The vision you saw out of something was a vision from a lower energy. And that burned you. It's like you burned yourself. 
You know what I mean for you Pisces? 